No charge. The two-minute message preview at the non-denominational New Hope Olympia is meet an outstanding mom. One evening mother was busy fixing supper. Her little boy approached her and gave her a piece of paper. She dries her hands on her apron and reads. For cutting the grass, five dollars. For cleaning up my room this week, one dollar. For going to the store for you, fifty cents. For babysitting my kid brother while you went shopping, twenty-five cents. For taking out the garbage, one dollar. The list went on. At the bottom, it said, total owed, fourteen dollars and seventy-five cents. His mother looked at him standing there, and the boy could see the memories flashing through her mind. She picked up the pen. She turned over the paper he'd written on, and this is what she wrote. No charge, son, when you add it up, my love costs no charge. For the nine months I carried you while you were growing inside me, no charge. For all the nights I've sat up with you, doctored and prayed for you, no charge. For all the trying times and tears you've caused through the years, no charge. For all the times I wiped your nose and your butt, no charge. For all the toys, food and clothes, no charge. When the boy finished reading what his mother had written, there were big tears in his eyes, and he looked straight at his mother and said, Mom, I sure do love you. And then he took the pen and wrote in great big letters, paid in full. Melba Montgomery recorded No Charge in 1974, becoming a number one hit. Did you know that more phone calls will be made today than any other day of the year, except Christmas and New Year? Why? Did you know they reckon car washes were used more on Saturday than any other Saturday this year? Why? You have to look in the card shops and the advertisements all around us, this is Mother's Day. All of us have a mother. We wouldn't be here without them. For many, today is a day of joy and love, but for some, it is a day of pain, sadness, and one which they cannot wait to end. For whatever reason, they are unable to have children. The story of Hannah is beautiful. She was a genuine believer in the Lord, God of Israel, first and foremost, and also the mother of Samuel, one of Israel's most outstanding leaders. She was also one of a few women who, unable to have a child by any means, bore a child due to one of the Lord's miracles. In his weekend message, Pastor Dell describes Hannah as an outstanding mom. He points out that Hannah had five qualities in her character that made her an exceptional mom. These five qualities can be implemented in everyone's life, whether you are a mother or not.